Well, you know, these robots in particular have not gained self-awareness yet. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so that's how you would just um, we can go forward. We can make him turn around in circles. That's the budgie app. Budgie, Bill, the friendly robotic assistant. And then he comes on. Now was designed with one main purpose in mind. He's here to help you out by carrying your stuff. Well then let's go for a walk, Budgie. Okay. <laughs> I love it. A lot of people have a lot of things to carry, right? Mothers with small children, disabled people, elderly people, it's hard for them to carry things around. Sure. And with Budgie, then they just have to hold the transceiver, and then when they walk, the robot will follow them, right? So they don't have to worry about carrying their things. Uh, Bill, that's Wendy Roberts, CEO of a Wall Township-based Five Elements Robotics. In her efforts to take robots from this future vision into the present, she created Budgie, who can haul about 50 pounds worth of your stuff. Uh, Budgie retails online for about $1,400. $1,400, you're packing my gear for me. I'm a busy businessman. Let's give this little relationship a try, Budgie. Okay. He's a robot that carries my stuff on him. That's, that's remarkable. Listen, um, can, does he talk? Budgie, he's assembled right here in New Jersey by people like Ariana Perone, who's learning something new every day. It's simple to, to a certain extent. I mean, there's a lot of programming that needs to be done with uh, the circuit boards and everything. Um, now, are you part of that as well? Are you part of making sure the circuit boards get yeah, the proper? Yeah. Now um, you're getting into some stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just learned that, actually, so. That's cool. Yeah, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. They make robots. It stands the reason they're gonna have shelves upon shelves of robot parts. Parts for robots. Robot parts. Uh, now, Bill Wendy points out that Budgie's sales have been good, but more overseas than here. She says the enthusiasm for consumer level robots like Budgie in Asian markets, for instance, is palpable. But check this out. You should see what she's got on the drawing board. It's or in, the, in, in the car. Arkansas in the R&D lab of the largest retailer in the world. Which is Walmart? So Can I'm you not, say? I'm not allowed to say that. How about that? The big retailers are interested in Dash, a robotic shopping cart that Wendy's hoping to have in stores by the end of next year. It ingests your shopping list, takes you item by item through the store, and check this out. So that's another thing. Dash addresses the yes. checkout line. You're checking out with Dash on your cart. Right, right, exactly. So that you don't have to wait in line. Uh, amen to that. According to industry analysts, sales and production of robots continue to skyrocket. Uh, as time goes on, most of that, however, is made up of industrial robots. Creating day-to-day -day robots for consumer use, that is the focus here. Hmm. So, uh, hmm. But what is it? Just, it's uh, basically it carry stuff? Does it do anything else, really? Well, what do you want it to do? Uh, make coffee? But you have things that make coffee for you. Well, yeah, it's called a carrier. We have one. It's wonderful. But here's the thing. Uh, before we get to the maid from the Jetsons, right. we have to start with Budgie. And Budgie seems super cool. That's the point. So we're, this is one step toward the future. All right, anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. We just, it's a shame.